Our initiative is a self-representation uh, scheme that we run at FIDA, where we train women on how to understand their legal problems and represent themselves in court. And the reason behind that is that we wanted to holistically empower women so that you come into FIDA, you had a legal problem, but you walk out of FIDA empowered and able to represent yourself, which we found ultimately builds the esteem and the ability of the women to navigate life. We advocate for gender sensitive policies, but also we advocate for the rights of women on uh, both offline and online. At Major Lazugnet, we use digital tools, let's get promote, uh, promoted among women and girls to ensure that they use them in their activities, especially for sustainable development. The idea developed in 2015 when our founders at this time were still students. So they knew, knew about uh, studying in Germany and they had some ideas at this time when Syrian refugees uh, coming to Germany, uh, uh, how to help them find access to the German higher education system and how to make a difference in this regard. Uh, I educated older than 200 teachers for this lesson. Uh, in Turkey, the philosophy teachers and the history teachers are in charge of democratic citizenship and the human rights education. Then we recognize our techniques that we learned, uh, the methods and the course book, of course. And the biggest part is all, uh, in 2015, we start to use that book in our lessons uh, in all over the Turkey. Uh, we all educated the other teachers in our city. And Izmir is a very crowded city. Uh, that the pupils number is over than 4 million. Then we reached a lot of school and a lot of teachers in charge in democratic school, uh, democratic citizenship and the human rights education. It was a booster for us that what we are doing is not um, in vain. It also gave us the courage and the confidence to apply for more funding towards the kind of work that we are doing. We got more money. We got more funders from two other funders. So we got more money and we we're able to scale up our approaches, our lessons learned from the first one to other level. But also it improved our visibility as visibility as women of the network. You see, when you are doing when you are doing something good and write these reports, people get to know about you. People got to know what Vugnet was doing, and we became popular. We are very popular. Actually, people were identifying with us. They wanted identity cards of Vugnet because they were Vugnet monitors. You know, they used to call themselves Vugnet monitors, Vugnet monitors. So because they were monitoring, even they wanted t-shirts, t-shirts which actually would identify them Vugnet because they felt that Vugnet was doing something very good. We we were very happy about it because Generation Democracy Project is the most comprehensive and the effective project in Turkey in the area of democratic citizenship and democratic citizenship and human rights education and, and winning one of the biggest award in this field has shown us we are doing the right things. Yes. It was a right project. It was a right uh, file field for work. Uh, it's so important. And I think, uh, in addition, it helped me learn the value of working a devoted team based on a realistic needs and with a right strategy. Winning the award helped us to increase our visibility. Uh, to gain new funds uh, and to scale our impact. Take advantage of the great networks that you'll meet. It's a forum that's attended by almost who's who in terms of human rights and democracy globally. Take the chance to innovate uh, relationships, to forge partnerships, uh, and to also boost collaboration that you have. Do not lose their trust in democracy. It's so important for me and continue uh, to work without forgetting that only real hope is still democracy and peace.
to think global. Uh, in the current global and digital world, everything is connected. And uh, yeah, all of our challenges and problems are very much interconnected as well. Therefore, our solutions have to be global and holistic. Uh, to see systemic change, we need collective action. I think the first thing to do in order to become a democracy imitator is to get rid of our prejudice. It means that we need to reanalyze, reanalyze. You need to think out of the box and you need to think big. This means that you have to be ambitious and uh, remain humble at the same time to strike a balance. It takes a lot of empathy empathy that you put yourself in the shoes of survivors or victims you're trying to assist you must have thought through something that is very touching to your nation and then you also think through how are you going to address it so it should be an innovation which is really very real which is going to identify the real problems of this world or to identify to actually sort out your problem of democracy in your country.